Okay, so my man Mike just told me about a little insider tip. I didn't even know about this. And I don't know how much there is behind this, but we're gonna test it out for you guys because this could be a major, What is this a problem or is this just like a glitch? What do we call this, by the way? I'm gonna say it's a glitch. Here's Mike. Mike Douglas. All right. What do we got? So with the rower, put the damper at a zero or one, I guess the lowest it can go. One. Once you have it set there, you will pull from just Push. Regular position. Push. push. Yeah. Good, good point. That's fine. My apologies. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to push just as hard as you can. Yeah. You're going to rest for seven seconds so until it basically completely dies down. Okay, so, it was so damper's down into, at a one, yep. the lowest setting. Lowest possible setting. From a standstill, monitor zeroed out. Mm -hmm. You're going to take one big stroke. Big pull. Yep, big, big push. push. Big push. I'm wrecking this right now. One big push. You're going to rest till the seven second mark. And exactly you'll do it. Exactly seven? Exactly seven seconds. Okay. If you do it faster than seven seconds, you will not get the calorie output you would if you rested the full seven. Okay, well, okay, so but what's the, the, the glitch comes in. Mm -hmm. You will then make another pull. You What's going to happen on stroke one? On stroke one, nothing will happen. Okay, nothing, nothing happens. happens. So far, no glitch, no problem. Yeah. Stroke two, two calories should pop up. How? When do we take stroke two? Seven sec at the seven second mark. Oh, so stroke saying, one. Stroke one is from zeroed out. Zero nothing going. happens. Got nothing it. happens. Stroke, stroke two. two will be roughly two calories. Uh, it, I also saw a female do one, so may not be as big of a glitch for females as it is, as it is males. Stroke three, uh, I seven had- seven seconds later? Yes, seven so, seconds. So we're going 21? every seven seconds. Every seven, 14, 21. Exactly. 21. Okay. 21. On your monitor. Yeah, on okay, the monitor. Okay, so once you hit that 21 second mark, I pulled one of the rowers, it gave me four calories. Four more? Four more calories. It gave you four calories in one stroke. In one push. <laughs> okay. In He's one push. On. Yeah, I'm catching on. One push, you one gave stroke, me four you calories. Got four calories. And that's on top of the two you got from stroke number two. So I'm at now six calories in three, three strokes. Okay. Here's my question. Do you think Concept2 knows about this? Do you consider this a glitch? Yes or no? I want to hear about it down in the comments. Not only are we just going to talk about this though. Let's prove it. We're going to prove whether or not this thing is actually happening. This could be like <laughs> huge. We're like tapping into the matrix huge. with this. Huge. I mean, I'm not advocating anybody use this for, you know, nefarious purposes, but I feel like has that, have any of you guys heard this cuz I have not. Where did where did you hear about it? I heard it from a buddy of mine. And where did he hear about it? From a buddy of his. Who heard yeah, about it? It's already came from it's it's it my it's a good friend of mine from Utah. And uh, yeah, he, he had texted me about it and then he called me about it and of course- How has nobody told me about this? Yeah, that, I thought you would have I, already I known. I would have expected you to yeah, tell me. I, I, I would have figured I'm you already actually... know. So, uh, okay, so, you know, I, I have to test something to, to obviously see if it's the yeah. validity of it, of course, but Actually. at first I thought it was BS, but after doing it, my jaw dropped. Yeah. My jaw's dropping. Yeah. Four calories in one stroke is not something I've ever heard of. Yeah. And so, okay, let's go this. Yeah, let's go let's test try. this. Let's figure out if this thing actually is happening. Did we just break a concept two machine? Did we just figure out how to game? Box. Do, yeah. Did we just figure out how to game the system? I don't know. Let's go find out. <laughs> Damper, one. For for reference sake, let's note that this is a PM3, not a PM5. Do we have a PM5? Yet no, anymore? we don't. Ooh, we do no not. PM5s to test. Okay, we are set. We're set to calories, zeroed out on a PM3 monitor. We don't have a PM5 here, so I'll have to retest this on a PM5 somewhere. But PM3, check. So again, you'll start from just that position. Okay. Man. One big push. Again. Okay, so no calories registered. Six, seven. So two calories. Okay, so he just got two calories. One. Six calories. Six calories. Shut up, this is happening. Two. One. Nine calories. He just got three more calories. Three, two, one. 12 calories. He just got 12 calories in five strokes. 12 calories in five strokes. 15 calories in 35 seconds. That is unbelievable. 15 calories, 35 seconds, six total strokes. Guys, we just broke the matrix. Crazy. What did you just do? 
I broke the code, apparently. So if I, if I pace it correctly, uh, 1,500, 1,500 calorie per hour pace would put you at 33.69 seconds for 14 calories, if I read it correctly, if I remember right. Okay, so this is, it was at 35 on my last pull. Push. <laughs> So essentially you're holding about a, you, you wouldn't be able to get an outstanding score, but good enough. But you would give I mean, yourself a very competitive score and your grip would the, be fine. The point just being like any workout where calories are involved, we just, yeah. you, but it also who found this? Reveal yourself. <laughs> what is the origin story of this? How did this happen? I don't understand it anymore. This is insane, guys. I'm gonna test this for myself. I, we just watched it happen, but we just gotta see, can I replicate this? Okay. Damper, down to a one. So far, so good. <laughs> Monitor, zero. No trick of the camera here. That's it, right? That's it. Okay. Every seven seconds, I'm gonna take a stroke. Nice and hard, see what happens. Two in. Three more. to say like what is there to say <laughs> I feel like my whole life is a sham I was just getting 20 almost 2200 calories an hour per stroke with like no effort zero effort occurred for that to happen I just got 14 calories in like 35 seconds okay but here's the interesting thing now you didn't mention this before like He's on the other side of the camera. The timing actually stopped each time. So it stopped at six seconds, and then I would take my next stroke, and then it would start the clock again. It was like the run could only last for six seconds. Therein, I think, lies whatever this is. Something about that clock only going for six seconds. Because each time, like at six, at 13, at 20, it stopped counting. This thing actually works. You can get three calories per stroke, which I've never been able to accomplish with all of my 170 mechanics videos that I've ever put together. We basically just like melted the system. Wow, all right, well, hopefully we'll find an answer for you. Maybe I can get Concept2 on the line and get an actual response to this. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Something is broken, <laughs> something is amiss. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Guys, we're following up on this, guys. I've grabbed a partner in crime, Josh Marshall. So we're gonna test this concept. I purposely picked Josh because he has zero idea what we are going to do. But I feel this needs to be tested because a lot of people are gonna be saying, what is the efficacy of this? What is the objective behind it? Should I be using it? And is it really like a worthwhile trick, let's call it. So to explain, somebody just introduced us to this concept that if you take the damper setting all the way down to one, zero out the monitor, and take a stroke every seven seconds, you can get to the point where the monitor is going to give you three to four calories per stroke. So go to... So just zero out your monitor. And what we're gonna test right now, guys, because I think this is important, right? This is not just like, we're just airing dirty laundry here. We need to test, does this work and is it effective? So we're both gonna put our damper down at a one, all the way down. Josh is also a rower, now CrossFitter. I was a heavyweight, rode for University of San Diego. Anyway, so uh, do you want to test the single calorie every, or the single stroke every seven seconds yeah, theory, so or do you want to consistently row? Do I stroke and then wait for seven seconds? Yeah, you take a stroke and then just, you're going to sit. And then chill? And just chill. And then at the seven second mark, you're going to take your next stroke. Is it hard or is it like... Take like a, a, a solid stroke. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're not like that. taking it easy. So he's going to take that format. I'm going to take just standard rowing. One minute, max... Just call it max calories for one minute. He's gonna test this theory. We're gonna see how it turns out. And I'm gonna test regular rowing and we're gonna see what happens. Monitors are both gonna be zeroed out. We're using PM5s. So I know when we tested it before it was a PM3. So that could play a difference in this as well. Um, just row. Both of our dampers are down to one. And we're gonna test this thing out. When you get set up, we're gonna hit this.
I got 22 calories in a minute. Josh got 22 calories in a minute. Although, his minute took longer because if the monitor stops counting at six. So if there's like a slight delay there, he got to a minute when I was at like 105, 105 or something like that. So we both got 22 calories. I was cruising at like 1400 calories an hour. What were you averaging? Uh, started off like 17, 18, and then the last couple were like 19, 2000. Right. But feeling wise, because he knows how things feel, did you feel like you were at 17, 18, 19 calories an hour on effort? No, not at all. And that's where this gets weird. Yeah, I felt, it felt easy. It felt like almost 12, 15. Right, okay, so in the interest of, of experimentation, let's redo it and swip roll, swap rolls. Okay. So you're gonna row one minute, consistent. like consistent, and I'm gonna take hard strokes and... What were you holding before, like 15? Yeah. I'll do the same. Okay. So he's gonna hold fifth, trying to hold 15, and I'm just gonna do what I can. All right, here goes effort two. I just got 25. How many did you get? 23, and I was working way harder. He was working at 1,500. Somehow, I was averaging 2,000. Yeah, about. Okay, now, I really didn't want to actually, like, my goal was not to show that this was, like, I honestly thought that the other, like, the consistency was gonna pay off. Um, let's have a momentary philosophical discussion about what this means. If the workout, we're actually for time. You'd kind of be screwing yourself, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's... Because, like, my minute... So while I got more calories, my minute's taking longer. But not that much. Maybe five seconds. So I'm losing, like, a second per round, maybe? Yeah, but you're also gaining two calories only consistently like that. To use this would be wrong. Yes. We, we can all agree on that. Like, if you're competing and, and you're doing this, there's like, that's not sportsmanship. It almost seems like cheating. I mean, the numbers are the numbers right now. So like, I don't know, I don't know how or why this is happening, but it is. And I just got 25 calories and he got 23, both in a minute. Maybe like the heaviness of like letting the fan relax, but the damper being so low, it spins out. Yeah, it's like that's the only thing I can think of. I and the, I can't. I'm I'm miffed at like how I'm getting 2,000 calories an hour. Yeah, like that part doesn't make any sense. And it feels way less effort to do it a stroke every seven, right? And to be consistent. Oh boy, we're both rowers, and we're both like. Uh, I don't like it. I, don't, I mean, I certainly don't like it. I don't think we're breaking the monitor. I don't no. think we're like tricking it. Well, I guess we this. There are ways in which you can trick the machine, like a sprint start, but I don't, where you're like advantageously taking advantage of how it calculates, advantageously taking advantage. Yeah. You're taking advantage of that you're tricking the monitor into giving you a lower average yeah. by going hard early because it's constantly measuring an average. I consider that like fair game, mm -hmm. right? You're working with the machine. In this instance, it seems like you're like routing the system. It seems like it because like it's less effort and maybe the monitor's catching the speed of the fan, but it's like slowing down enough where each stroke, you get that kind of initial heavy pull like you would off the start. Yeah. I don't know where this leaves us. Ah, I didn't want I didn't want the results we just got. Yeah, the results are the results. We just tested it. I mean, I would say Josh and I are like within a few seconds of each other on pretty much any test. So like equivalent fitness wise, we're gonna be close to, you know, relatively close to each other. Your thoughts, let's hear them down below. I don't think this is a valid, I don't think it's a valid way of using the machine. Let's call it a party trick. I think that's a fair way of putting it. Yeah, we could call it that. Yeah. Let's not use it in competition, folks. Sounds good. Well, <laughs> we'll see on the other side.